Americans and vaccinated children. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, in fact, uh, what you are essentially maintaining is that there is hope right now that the bloodbath does not uh, unfold into a catastrophic scene that we do in fact uh, witness. But at the same time, after the broadcasting headquarters has been captured, the latest breaking that we are tracking is that the Syrian Prime Minister Mohammad Gal Mohammad Ghazi Al Jalali has said the government stands ready to cooperate with any leadership of the people choose in a recorded message on Sunday morning saying that we are ready to cooperate with any leadership. The people choose offering all possible support to ensure a smooth and the systematic transition of government functions preserving the state facilities, he said. Ghazi Al Jalali has called on the Syrians to protect the public facilities and public places saying they belong to all citizens. All right, on this, in fact, note where the latest statement that uh, has been issued by Mr. Jalali. Let me also get in my guest, UK Captain uh, UK Devnath, Group Captain UK Devnath. Well, after the Assad fled Damascus, sir, the latest of the statement has been uh, issued by Syrian Prime Minister saying that all the public places and the places of importance should not be vandalized given the view of the developments that are taking, urging in fact the citizens to stay united and protect the public places, calling on to Syri Syrians to do what is expected of them at this point of time. How do you view this? Yes, this uh, appeal by Syrian Prime Minister is uh, uh, good, but it has to be seen in uh, correct perspective. See, now he has no official powers to enforce his appeal. Secondly, uh, his standing in front of STS also, is also very, very diluted. Uh, will uh, STS give him some respect, some value or some kind of a political standing? No. Uh, in fact, uh, it is quite highly likely that STS will either take him into arrest uh, or worse. His uh, family will be treated by STS respectfully. I only pray that. Because he will be, he and his other colleagues will be seen as, uh, you know, cooperating with Bashar al-Assad. They will be treated as collaborators uh, with the, uh, you know, um, Ba'ath regime. So his personal life, his family's life is uh, extremely hanging with a precarious uh, thread. Uh, I only pray that. Uh, STS fighters uh, remain disciplined and do not uh, resort to mass killing, mass violence like what happened in Bangladesh uh, few uh, last month. You see, uh, STS and uh, Free uh, Syrian Army, they are mostly uh, very, very extreme uh, uh, views, uh, Sunni views. Uh, uh, these uh, Shia elements who are in around... Uh, Damascus, they are very, very small part, 16%, 14% of Syrian population. Alawites are just about 1% of Syrian population, which Bashar al-Assad uh, belongs. So their situation is very, very delicate. I only pray uh, to the uh, uh, supreme power, wherever he is, that uh, the revenge killing does not start. But my hopes are, uh, I only hope that my prayers are uh, listened to by God. All right, Group Captain Yuki Devnath and Major Mohammad Ali Shah, in fact, decoding the entire series of developments that are being, in fact, broadcasted from Syria, where there is chaos and there are scenes of panic breaking out on the screen, streets as yes, the president's rule has, in fact, uh, collapsed. Now viewers, that is all the news of the nation and the world. We'll continue to track all the developments very closely. Till then, stay with us. Are Rishi, at 